I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Welcome to Medieval Dynasty. So this game is kind of like a first person open world adventure game with where you get to like build stuff and kind of create your own town. At least that's kind of like the gist I've gotten so far because um, I have tried playing this game a couple of times before and um, the first time I went in the completely wrong direction and ended up dying. <laughs> The second time, I got killed by a wolf. <laughs> and then the third time, I was on my way to like the kind of like new quest town. So like it was sending me to a brand new place and I was walking along the, the road to that town and yet another wolf murdered me. And that's the luck I've had with this game so far. So I actually know very little about it, but we are going to hopefully have a little bit of fun here. So right now we are heading to our first quest. We're basically just going to go down into this little village here and we're going to meet this guy who, he's called the Castellan as you can see on the right hand side of my screen, it has like the little quest icon. So he's the Castellan and we're going to talk to him and he will um, tell us about our family who used to live out here and give us an option for being able to go out and build kind of like our own city and kind of explain and break that down for us a little bit. So let's see, where is the Castellan? I like that I have a little yellow to point me in the right direction. Ah, here he is. Excuse me, child. Excuse me, child. Get out of my way. There we go. Unigast. Okay, Th those eyes. I didn't think that I would see them again. One blue is the sky and the other black like a lump of coal. Oh, so I'm heterochromatic. I've never noticed that while playing this game. Uh, are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. So you aren't one. Good. For a second there, I thought I lost it. Huh? But your eyes, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new to these parts. Just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Rosamir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew? What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We ne didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait. W what did you mean by did know her? Is she well? I hope she is now. Wherever that might be, I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Uh, it's okay, they've died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud of hearing that. You mentioned my Uncle Jordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rosamir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your Uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. So, that's it? I'm the only one left? Don't say that. Hey, look at me. The valley is filled with warm-hearted people who can gladly aid you with whatever you need, and I'm one of them. So what should I do now? You are free to go everywhere you like, wherever you like, and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. 
Just like that, I could take the land free of charge. Well, you'd have to pay taxes at the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please, as long as you don't break the law, of course, or at least if you don't get caught doing so. That sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer that will be crucial in building the process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Those geese are really annoying in the background. <laughs> Alright, listen to what he's telling me. Uh, when you build yourself a home, come back to Custovia and talk to my wife, Dobroniga. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. That sounds like a plan to me. Yes, I know how to collect resources. So out here is where I can kind of start gathering some stuff. And I know exactly where I want to build my house. Like I'm very stuck on building it in the same place every single time because I just, I think it's a beautiful area in the game. Got it. Yes, I know how to do the whole tree cutting thing. I just, I need more stones and everything. The only problem is, is the game does have like a weight limit of like what you can carry based on um, basically what you've collected and whatnot. And it will slow you down. And if you are holding too much, it will actually make it impossible for you to move. Is that Ostic? It's Ostic. Oh, we need some St. John's wort. It's a healing herb. I haven't ever actually used it in the game, but I figure it's good to have on hand. Stones actually get really heavy really quick, but let's pick up some more sticks here. And before that, I'm going to come down here because I know that in order to build a house, I'm going to need some some thatch and stuff, so I'm just gonna kind of start gathering the stuff that I know I need. Ooh, dandelion. I've never collected a dandelion before. I'm just going over to where I'm gonna be able to get the roofing material for my house in the future. I think I'll take one more stone. <laughs> Trying to be conscious about what I'm carrying. I haven't, it hasn't popped up like the weight limit yet, telling me that I've collected too much, so I'm not too worried about it right now. But better safe than sorry. But yeah, these are the reeds that I need in order to be able to build my house fully, so. Just collecting a whole bunch of these. Oh, new survival level, sweet. I love being able to upgrade those. I, I say that like I've played this game a lot when literally I think I've stopped, I've gotten killed at chapter two every single time. And if not chapter two, definitely got killed at chapter one. <laughs> like I have not made it very far in the game at all. I just like the idea of being able to level up your skills. Okay. I'm gonna take some more sticks here. We'll get some more when we actually go up. Broadleaf plantain, did I see that? Oh, moral mushroom too. These are some food. You always want to gather some food. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. Because this is where I like building my house, and you'll see why. I'm just going to follow the road up here ways. Here we go. So we follow the road up here, and... Bam! Just this gorgeous waterfall, like, 
Oh, it's so pretty. So I always like building just above the waterfall. Over on the left-hand side of it. So that way it's kind of across the street, but I just have a nice, nice view in a way. So I typically like to build uh, a little bit higher. Somewhere right around in this somewhat already cleared patch. So it just kind of makes a really good place to start building. So we're gonna go into tools, we're gonna make an ax here. Sweet, and uh, now I need to also make a wooden hammer, but I gotta have a log for that. So this is where we get our ax. We're gonna equip it here. And then we're just gonna chop this thing down. Such a realistic tree chopping. <laughs> One more hit, there we go. And we can take our logs. And then do a hammer. Now, one of the things it wants you to do is to cut some more trees. So we're gonna start clearing out some more of this area, kind of where I like to build houses. And I'm not gonna, it just says to cut them down, so I'm not gonna worry about getting them into logs currently. So now I've got to build a house, and I know how to build a house. Let's come into here, and then, houses, and then I'm gonna need six logs and I'll replace the base. So this is where I can actually whack, whack. One, two, three. So now I got the warning that says you're carrying too much. So then down in the lower left-hand corner, you can see my little uh, weight thing that tells me, hey, you're starting to get kind of weighed down and you can see that my character is moving a little bit differently than they might normally. But that's just because of the weight of all the logs. All right, where would I like my house? Kind of like the idea of it just being a little straightforward ramp up. Okay. And equip. can also go here and upgrade some of my knowledge. So survival knowledge is survival activities, uh, temperature resistance, higher poisoning resistance. We're gonna go with the survival knowledge currently. So then when I hit two, I can go to my hammer and then this is where I can start kind of building, but I need some more locks. So we're gonna go back to our ax here really quick. Sometimes I'll just load myself up with a whole bunch of uh, logs, even when I can tell it's getting a little bit heavy, just cause, especially when I'm doing a lot of house building. But when you start getting too heavy, then you start moving like this. Okay, so we'll go get a drink of water and then go 
get more sticks so that way we can continue building our house. This is the really nice thing about building so close to the waterfall is that you have a really nice water source just immediately right here. Oops. It's really finicky. And now I can store things in my chest too, so if there's certain things that I just don't want to carry with me, I can put them in here. I don't know what I don't want currently. Okay, right now I need to work on Yes, berries that we can get from brushes. Got it. Need to survive for a season, hunt wild animals, talk to Dobroniga, and set a rabbit trap. Ooh, so many things to do. Find the rabbit traps at field, orchard, animal husbandry, production, services, and storage, no. Fences. Furniture and decorations, traps. Why is traps and furniture and decorations? Oh, it must be nighttime. We're gonna go set a trap. Some bunny. I want to kind of put it somewhat far away from my settlement, but somewhere that's also just kind of easy to get to. The rabbit trap, perfect.
Oh, that was much easier to dig up a stump than I felt like it should be. <laughs> oh, I love when games are just inaccurate like that. It's always funny to watch. Oh, I'm carrying too much. I'll put my logs away. I feel like I don't need my logs right now. Plus that's what's always ends up being really heavy. Okay, now it's gonna be very important that we hunt. Hunt a wild animal. Gotta find the animals first. There was obviously some animals up here yesterday. That's one of the things I do like about this area is that it does seem like a good hunting ground for animals. See, look at this right here. Right here. Now here comes the hard part. As I hit him with the spear, I think the spear might be still stuck in him. you that I injured, but I've got you now. And skim. This gentleman who needs help? Aha! Uh -huh. What can I do for you? My name is Rosamir. Hi, I'm Alwyn. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Uh, I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Good luck to you then. Thanks. As for me, I'm a farmer. My job is to cultivate fields. Uh, doesn't it get boring over time? Of course it bores me. <laughs> How long can you do the same thing in your life over and over again? Well. Welcome to adulthood, honestly. That's, that's how jobs work. But my family needs my help and I am doing my best to provide for them. Don't need to offend you. No, to, no need to apologize. I've been annoyed short-tempered recently, a delicate matter. I can't focus. Can I help you? It may be petty, but I'm really tired of my mother's conflict with Jarawia. Her son, Dalabor, won't leave my little sister Olga alone. Okay. I understand it's a game for him. After all, when I was his age, I played with Dobermia, his older sister. I pretended to be a knight, equipped with a stick instead of a sword. Yeah, you gotta protect the honor. Anyway, let's get down to earth. I think you really need some help keep you busy and away from my sister. Awesome. I'll see what I can do. It's okay, buddy. All right. 
it. Hi, what can I help you with? Uh, you're Dobrynya. Nice to meet you. I'm Rosimir. Uh, Unigas told me you can fix me up with some food. Sounds amazing. How do you know my husband? Is that the same really? I rode in the valley. Uncle was Unigas' friends. I remember hearing that he had eyes just like yours. Sorry if you're lost. It's okay. I don't really remember him. A lot of people did from what I heard because everybody likes him. Tough shoes to fill. Only shoes you need to worry about filling here your own. Thanks for saying that. Uh, as part of a traveling band and troubadours. Okay, cool. She fell in love with Unigosh. She stayed. And now she has a business. Cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. Same person. Awesome. I will go get that. Oh, wait. Never mind. I didn't have to do anything. Here we go. Yep, job well done. Okay, we're gonna drink. He used to be a thief. Uh, and now he's doing a good, good job. He's being a good, honest man. Tried to rob the uncle, gave him a chance to redeem himself. That's just their relationship, how they met, conversations that you have with people. We talk about Jordan, calling each other family. Come and find him tomorrow, sweet. So now I have to wait till the next day to come back and talk to him again. And now I'm inebriated because we sat and drank. Lovely. Nice to meet you. Only the best products here. Have a good day. Be welcome. Whatever you need, I've got it.
Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. I am getting settled. The villa valley is treating me very nice. It came at a poor time because he needs to take care of his duties as Castellan. Okay, no problem. Uh, there's been a murder. Oh no. Question the witnesses. Uh, I'm sure you'll take good care of the matter. Time will tell. Yes. Uh, jokes aside, that's really a serious matter. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there's someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He was one of us. The pack, I mean. Serious? He lives here in the valley? That's right. All of them do. Here, I've marked his house on the map. You should pay him a visit. Great. I will go there. Uh, calling Sambor friendly is like calling being stung by a bee right in the tip of your manhood. Pleasant. That's awfully specific. Were you sticking your manhood in places where it doesn't belong, such as beehives? Like, how would you know? All right, I will be on my way. So this is the one that I died on, going to visit the dude. Die. Because it was so far away. Oh, that is a really, really long way. We'll call it quits right here at the bridge so in the next episode we will cross over this bridge and go meet this guy named Sambor and try and piece together a little bit more of the story about our uncle as we continue to grow and build what will hopefully be our own little kind of village here in the future. See you in the next video. Bye!